Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am Fiery Red Hero 8, and in this episode we are going through the mini dungeon, the Ice Cavern. It's not even really an official dungeon, but it helps you get one of the items that will be needed to access said dungeon and actually survive in it. Turn the volume down a little bit here, because... Like, I like to hear the game audio, but I don't want to hear it so much that I can't really concentrate on what I'm saying. And then it doesn't matter, because the Dazzle wants to troll me. Fuck that. Anyway, so, how's everybody doing today? I am doing fine and well, fine and good. I am, it's starting to chill here. I mean, the, the air is starting to get chillier, and my Glaceon jacket is getting cozier as I am freezing, ironically enough. Okay, come on, just get closer to the damn thing. Yeah, these guys um, obviously can use their ice breath on you, but one jump attack and swipe, and they're usually pretty good. However, there is, is there, there's got to be another one around here somewhere because the door won't unlock unless you destroy them all. But I don't see one. Oh, there he is. Shithead. Well, get him. And, oh my god. Okay, I jump and then that happens. Okay, whatever. Whoa. I always get turned around in this room because of the camera angles, but these two little red ice sculptures will tell you that this is the way forward. But yes, the air is getting a lot chillier here, I've noticed. But that's fine. I mean, I I'm done with the humidity. I want the, the chill to be here. I carved my pumpkins the other day, and it looks really cute. I didn't really do a face this time. I just did one with, like, a crescent moon and stars. It just uh, reminds me of um, one time at my aunt's house, way back in the day. Um, they had a pumpkin on their front step, and it had, like, a crescent moon. And actually, if you crouch like this, that blade won't even get you. And that's not the last you're going to see of said blade. Excuse me, at least when they use it in design. And I'm getting hit left and right here. But I'm actually going to stand right here, because there's a gold Skulltula over there. And we're going to get it. Yes. Um, yeah, because it doesn't look- it looks like that thing will get you, but when you're standing where I am, you won't really get hit, so... Let's hit it once. And then, we're gonna have to use the hook shot to actually get that, but... And it won't- it won't get that from here, so that kind of sucks. But, now you'll target it, and there you go. So yeah, I um, carved my pumpkin on Saturday, and I was very happy with it. And remember that red spot for later? We are almost done with getting these rupees. My mind's scatterbrained. I'm trying to, like, make sure I'm saying all the right things, and also talking about, you know, just life, which is what I usually do in these videos. So yes, if any of you guys are dressing up for Halloween, let me know what you're doing. I actually, um... Because, as I said in uh, my vlog, when I was talking about my upload schedule, I was um, going I was going to stream, and I plan to st I still plan to stream on Halloween night. Now, I don't get home until 10 o'clock, which kind of sucks, but I mean, I know that streams usually don't start until late at night anyway, so 10 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll be getting home. I'll probably start between 10.30 and 11, depending on, you know, how long it takes me to get set up, because I'm usually not very good at those kind of a things. But we'll see how it goes. I really don't know what I'm going to play yet. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I've toyed with some ideas in my head. Like, I could, you know, do Animal Crossing for a little bit. Because I love Animal Crossing. And there's a, you know, Halloween one in the GameCube game. And, um, also, I play, you know, maybe Luigi's Mansion. I don't know. I've, I've toyed around with a couple of ideas. Not to mention my capture card. I know that, um, like, I've got two capture cards. I've got the diamond, which, uh, it, when streaming, apparently, you know, even when you're recording with the diamond, it is extremely loud when it pick, like picks up footage. I remember when I started LPing and I used that, I had to reduce the volume by a lot. I mean, I did that, and it was still... This was, like, back in the day before I even realized how to amplify my commentary, which I don't even need to do anymore for some reason, but back then, I had to. Of course, that's when I was Let's Playing on a different, um, when I was doing with my netbook and not my computer. And I also had a different headset, but beside the point. The diamond picks up the game audio extremely loud, and I don't want that to happen to you guys, because it's like, okay, you can hear that, but then you won't be able to hear me. And, um, with the Dazzle, apparently the Dazzle does not have sound drivers. Or whatever they may be, so I don't know. You guys might actually be mute as far as um, game audio, which really sucks. But at the same time, I feel like for streaming, you're really just, you know, you're there to chat and talk to the streamer themselves. So, I mean, I honestly, if that's what I have to do, I might just do that, which, you know, I'm sorry for you guys if you don't like that, but that's what I might do. And I'm going to get these bottles of ice off, or blue fire off my screen. Yeah. 
Okay, just, just to make me feel a little more safe. And I'm gonna get these ice keys with my bow and arrow because they fucking suck balls. Fucking hate them. You can die. Oh my god, oh my god. Aw, oh, damn, I almost got all of them. I swear, keys are just as fucking annoying here as they are anywhere. And of course with, you know, this, like, you know, the platforming and ice physics mechanics or whatever, just, oh my god, they suck. But yeah, so, I'm closing on Halloween night, but I'll be home and I will probably get some Halloween candy for myself to enjoy and put on my Glaceon jacket. And we shall have some fun. Uh, I don't, I know, I, I want to try to get the face cam. I gotta ask Corfoy how I'm gonna do that. Of course, this will be posted Monday week of Halloween. Um, but yeah, those are my plans. Because <clears throat> originally I had asked for that evening off, but I've also asked for a lot going on um, this week. So not to mention just everything else I've you know asked off. Because I used to not really do that. I used to not ask off practically at all. And if I asked for time off for like a doctor's appointment, I would always say, well, I can close or I can open or whatever that may be. So, but anyway... Because I will be going to Gilshanks's this weekend, but this will be um, the week will already have been passed by the time this is posted. I have videos ready to go this week that I did last week after that vlog that I did. So I want to stay ahead of the game if I can, because you know where I've already reduced the amount of posting that I, I can do. I want to be able to. I hope I have enough fire here. Um, I want to be able to stay ahead of myself. That way I can still get videos out because. Oh my goodness. Because once I get back next week, um, you know, or this week when this is posted, I am working four days in a row and I have off Friday. And I close most of those days, which is fine. Like, I really like, you know, I don't really like closing per se, but well then again, I mean, I don't like opening either because I don't like getting up early. But if things are consistent, I think that's usually better. But as I've said before, you know, with retail, it's really hard to actually, you know, have it be consistent. Okay, that was bullshit. You see, that can happen sometimes. And don't fall into those pits, because if you do, then you will have to go all the way through this place again. Now, it's not that bad, because it's not that big. It's not like it's the water temple. Um, I'm centering myself. I'm trying to center myself, because if you just do a rolling jump and grab on, you will get that. I don't care if you solidify me, you motherfucker, because I'm going to get you, too. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> Oh god, my mama laugh. Okay, bow and arrow. Fuck you. Uh, come here. Come here. Okay, fuck you too. And I'm gonna get this while I'm thinking about it, because yes, I do see you there. There you go, you fuck. Be a good little Skulltula. I know I'm wasting arrows getting- I could use the hook shot, but whatever. That's what I do. Okay, can you get that from here? Okay, you're like right next to it. There we go. Awesome. Now, this next thing up here, you need to get all the rupees to open the door just like we did previously, but there's a way to do it. Um, I'm trying to think, because... Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know where to go first, to be honest with you, because there's you're going to have to get rid of it, this block, because when you, when you slide it off into those pits, you can um, it'll just respawn, so don't worry about that. You're going to have to push it in several ways so that you get everything. I mean, these rupees, you don't have to slide them to every platform to get them. Like, there's one little short platform over there you can get to. Now this here, I think I can get. I just have to position myself just right. I know you can get up there. There you go. Because I did it earlier. Awesome, there you go. See, it doesn't look like you can get it, but you can get it, I, I promise. Fire promises. Okay. See, and I can jump from there to there and get the rupee. And those rupees in the air right over there, um, you can play the Song of Time and get those rupees, but I don't really need them. Not really care to get them either, so it's whatever. Okay, again, bullshit. I was pushing analog up, which means that Link grabs onto it, and it should be computed that he grab on and get to the ledge. Thank you so much. You listened to me, Link. Actually, I don't blame Link at all. These ice visits are terrible. But yes. I am still looking forward to Halloween, even though, you know, I won't really be... Well, I, I don't go into work till 3 that day, so that's cool. Um, I just, I love um, Halloween in general, trick-or-treating, trick or and just, you know, it's it's fun. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, we have to go over to that area over there, because that's where more fire is. More, uh, well, the red fire. Or, no, fire, ice. It's ice, damn it. Just because it's red fire doesn't mean it's fire, bitch. 
Okay, so... Yeah, anyway, I mean, this is still kind of annoying. And once you push that, it'll come back over here, which is fine. And you just push it up and over like that, and we can do that. It's very simple. I'm not very good with puzzles, so anytime I get one, even if it's easy, I'm very proud of myself. But yes. And what's ironic is I actually have not just this Friday off, but two Fridays off in a row, which I'm really happy. And I, I mentioned that to my boss. I was like, hey, I got next Friday off too. Thanks. She's like, well, it's because I have you working every other day of the week. And I'm like, well, still, thank you. I mean, even though I'm not in school anymore, it's still cool when I have a Friday off. Because it's just, I don't know, it just feels different. Okay, don't you dare fall in that hole, you motherfucker. I will hurt you. Yeah, you go there. Now we just have to get a block back. And I know she can't move while it's sliding, too. But we need to get it over there this time. And I don't know how. I, I, I did when I was thinking about it, but... Okay, let me see. But anyway. So I'm still enjoying the hell out of Pokemon X, as I did say. I know I said that probably last time I recorded. Right now, I'm really into the um, Pokemon Ami thing. Which... In case you guys don't know, and I'm not trying to do this for spoilers, but I'm just I'm giving this out as a tip. If you haven't checked out Pokemon Ami yet, you have to, because trust me, it's more than just the, you know, the Gigapet-esque kind of stuff. And fuck, did I just fuck myself over? I did. Oh well, we'll do it again. You really want to check it out, because it'll help you in battle. That's all I'm going to say, because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. If you haven't figured that out, but just, just not figured it out, but if you haven't done it yet, go do it. Like, just go do it. It might take a little bit, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Okay, now let's see if I don't fuck this up this time. So I don't want to push it all the way down there, but at the same time, okay, you go up and that, but then he'll be stuck there. If you go over here, then he's going to be too far over, so then what? Oh, wait. Uh, so it's like that. Oh, okay, I get it now. See, I gotta figure it out. How do any of you guys remember that game show from Nickelodeon back in the day? Oh my god, that shit was like the shit. I used to watch that all the time as a kid. Okay. What? Man! I just screwed myself over again. I thought I had it. Nope, I guess not, cause Fire's a dumbass. I told you guys. And I fucked myself over again. God damn it! Now I'm talking too much and now I can't fucking figure out what I'm supposed to do! Wait. Did I just... Wait. Even so, if I do that, I'm gonna have to... Well, I, I can come back and um, get another blue flame anyway, so that's fine. Because I was supposed to do this, I think. Yes, this is what I wanted. Because I wanted to go to that platform in the first place. Yes, there we go. Yay! See, it's when I think too hard, I can't figure it out. If I don't think of it that much at all, then I'm okay. At least sometimes. Alright. I know there's, uh, I need more than one blue flame, but I'll come back and get another one. Because we're going to need one. Or we're going to need two, not just the one here. And you'll see why in a minute. It's 13 minutes. Alright, cool. Okay. You. Fuck off. You. Fuck off. Thank you. Alright, cool. There we go. But yeah, I haven't really gone too much into super training or anything like that. Uh, just... I know, uh, from what I've heard, it's more so to raise um, base stats or EVs, I believe they're called. I don't really know much about them. I mean, I've been told about them, but I don't really follow them too much. Okay. Mini boss time. Oh, shit. Nope. Okay, one shot. You're dead. Is that easy? Along with that, though, we get a treasure that we're going to need to advance in the Water Temple. And arrows. I can get more arrows elsewhere. I don't really care. But we are going to get, like, the best totally fashion accessory of Hyrule, which is the Iron Boots. They're, like, so chic and stylish. I mean, look at them. But they're so heavy that I can't walk. Like, oh my god. But then again, you can use them for a leg workout, which is good. We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception... The Zoras are now sealed under this thick sh ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left for to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. 
If you have the courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads you to the temple. Well, teach it to us. I mean, we can't just leave it like this. Besides, we gotta get that side quest done, which means we have to unfreeze the king. Well, whatever. Time passes. People move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. Very peaceful song. I like it. I first heard it in Twilight Princess, and I mean, I thought it was really, really pretty. So when I heard it here, I was like, oh my god, that's the Queen Zora song. But I didn't realize that it came from here first. It's not my favorite, but it's calming and very pretty, nonetheless. Yes, very, very pretty. Actually, it makes me thirsty, if anything, because it just makes me think of flowing water. Which normally you think that flowing water would make you one have to pee, but it makes me thirsty. At least in this instance. And that arrow is still there, holy shit. We have learned the Saturday night that <laughs> I can't talk serenade of water. I was trying to be all cool. It didn't work. Link, I'll see you again. Well, I, you know, you keep reappearing like that, then that doesn't surprise me. That's fine. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go in the water. And this is gonna be tedious as shit for the rest of the game whenever I need these. You need to go in and equip the iron boots like so. Which is something that they improved in the 3DS version. There was just a little, you know, it didn't take up... You didn't have to go into the screen every time to do that. But, there you go. Let me, um... Okay, that's the way out over there. We're gonna go back over here and get some blue flames. And I'll just keep talking for a second. We only need one more. And I didn't overstock like I did before in practice, so... That was my own fault. But it's okay, because we already opened the way. Wait a minute. I didn't open that one over there. I wonder what's in there. You know what? Watch it be a gold skull tiller or something that I missed. So, le yeah, let me get two just to be on the safe side. So, yes. Um, right now, as of Pokemon X, I am... I have all eight badges. I haven't gone through Victory Road. Like, I did one trainer in Victory, Victory Road and almost got my ass handed to me. Because I noticed, like, I didn't really grind this time. I ground maybe once or twice in the entire, um, you know, main part of the adventure before the Elite Four. And that was it. Other than that, I pretty much just... And as I fucking get frozen... Um, I pretty much just went through and had fun with it. Because normally I just overgrind myself. And Keese, I'm going to fucking... You're gonna... Ha There's gonna be a mass genocide of Keese. Okay? At the end of this game. I'm going to kill every single Keese in the history of Hyrule ever. And then none of us will have to deal with it anymore. I think that sounds like a great idea. What do you guys think? 18 minutes. Holy shit. I didn't imagine it would be this long. Oh well. Okay, we have plenty of blue flames now. Let's be... Okay, but yeah. I'm not gonna get frostbite from you. I almost thought I was going to. So I'm at that part of the game, and I really am enjoying it. I think Gen 6 is fantastic. I mean, now, I'll I'll have to see, you know, how if time passes and I still like it. Stop hitting me! God damn it! Fuck you! Fuck you too! God, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> but yeah, I really think it's fantastic. I love it, and honestly, I think that it was it was just, they did a great job. They pulled out all the stops with this, and it just I've been waiting for that kind of a game since Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Are you telling me I never I had to have gone through here? What is this? Is this okay? Shut up, phone Navi. I didn't go through here. Or did it just redirect me back? The hell is this? I don't remember this at all. Oh my god, I think there is a Skulltula in here somewhere. There is one in here, because I remember that from past playthroughs. Okay, I'm going to get my bow and arrow out again, because you're pissing me off. You hear me? You are pissing me off. There you go. Oh wait, a piece of heart! I did not know that! Cool, I'll take that too! Okay, that means that- oh my god, if I have to restock- well, there's blue fire right here, what am I talking about? Oh, I can't believe I missed this in practice. This is going to be a longer video than I intended. I just wanted 15 straight minutes. I was going to try to... I thought I could take care of this in two videos. It looks like it's going to be more than that. And I thought there was a Skulltula in here. Of course, I can't fucking hear it right now. Can I? No. That's dumb. 
Okay, let me... Well, this is a chest, so... Is this the compass? Because if it's the compass, we really don't need that. I got what I needed. Okay, you die. Thank you. Okay, yeah, because if this is a compass, that's just too damn useless right now for me. There has to be something else in here. Oh my god. And I can't hear, so I don't- Okay, there is one. I fucking knew there was one in there, you bastard. Okay, you die. And then I'll take your friend here. I knew there was one of you bitches in here. Fucking called it. Well, that makes me feel better. Because I did not get it. And watch, I would have been searching for it yet again. And be like, where did I lose one? I'd be like, hey guys, I found it. It was back here in the ice cavern. I didn't know. Okay, just be on the safe side. I'm looking everywhere for one of you bitches. Everywhere. Do you hear me? I don't see one. So I'm assuming that is... There's only one here. Cool. Okay, now let me grab this. And that should be it. Okay, let me exit this place before, for real, before I, before I say anything else. Because I don't want to miss something as soon as I hit, you know, stop capture. Okay. You're fine. We got that. And now we are going to leave. <laughs> not much else to do, is there? I hope not. Because I know, I know there's, okay. Oh my god, okay, fuck this. I am tired of getting backtracked. I know we're done here. I'll catch you guys outside in the next episode. Peace out!